I was an extraordinary child, or at least that's what everyone told me at the time. You're gifted, brilliant, extraordinary. The adulation swelled around me until I was swaddled, and I believed it indubitably. Brazen-faced, I marched up to the cusp of adulthood, convinced I would burst forth from the shelter of my cocoon and share my creative beauty with the world. Instead, I emerged, only to be shocked by the horrifying truth. I was not extraordinary. No vibrant butterfly hues greeted me on my way out into the daylight. No warm breeze swelled to welcome me. Instead, I was met by the excrescence of my unremarkable moth wings. I was bland, brown, and barely above average. I could see no way forward. My intrinsic extraordinariness was to be the lifeblood of my bright future, and without its presence, I was convinced these wooden wings wouldn't let me take flight, no matter how strenuously I flapped them. And so I fled the very possibility of creative failure, exiling myself to the corporate workforce, to the comfortable consumption of others' creations. And I consumed ceaselessly, until it was no longer comfortable, until I was fat and sick and dying. Forms and spreadsheets were to be my funeral shroud. As I languished on my deathbed, I recalled another constantly repeated utterance that echoed throughout my childhood memories, hitherto dismissed, but now resounding like a fatal gunshot in this valley of death. Jessica doesn't take risks. I had spent the last five years of my life believing everyone else had lied to me, when, in actuality, I was the deceiver all along. My prison was self-made, my fear the brick walls, my hubris the mortar between them, and my comfort zone, the enclosure existing within those bounds, the enclosure from which I refused to venture. I would never triumph as a creative because I refused to face or even acknowledge the fetters I had clamped around my ankles, not because I was not inherently extraordinary. This year, I didn't learn cinematography. I learnt courage. I learnt to be brave enough to fail. I have spent nearly 365 days flying, soaring, hurtling wildly into mistakes that have sent me plummeting into the unyielding ground below. It has been excruciating and humbling and utterly soul-destroying. It has changed the course of my life. So this is my exhortation to my fellow humans burdened with glorious creativity. Fail. Fail extraordinarily. If you're failing, you're trying. And if you're trying, you're taking a risk. And if you're taking a risk, you are learning the courage to confront the limits of your knowledge, ability and imagination. To defy those boundaries, declaring no, I will not hold myself captive within the safety of your confines. I will advance. I will overcome. I will grow. No one is innately extraordinary, but with a little courage, you could be.